Okay, firstly, you guys, can I just say thank you guys so much for all the nice comments and feedback you guys left me on my very first episode. I am so, so glad that you guys are enjoying this brand new series. Welcome back to episode two of Curb Appeal. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new episode of Curb Appeal, the new series on my channel where I focus on exterior building using a very strict budget and also by recreating photos that I find on Pinterest or Tumblr or Twitter or Google Images or even from you guys. So my name is Ashley for those of you who have not met me yet and I make Sims 4 videos on my channel so you should go check them out if you haven't already. So this is only episode 2 of my brand new series so if you want to hear me explain the series in a little bit more detail I recommend you go check out episode 1 right after this so I'm not gonna chit chat too long in this intro so without further ado let's jump right into the photo today that we are gonna be recreating okay so the photo that we are gonna be recreating today I found on Pinterest and it is this beautiful a dark bluish gray home so just like last episode let's go through the aspects of this photo that really give this house curb appeal and also let's evaluate if this photo is actually going to be possible to recreate in The Sims 4 okay so the first thing that we're gonna look at with this photo is does it look really edited so I talked about it a little bit in my last video but you don't want a photo that looks too heavily edited otherwise it's kind of giving you false hope and then you're gonna rebuild it in the Sims for and you're gonna wonder why does it not look as good as the photo and that's because the photo was just edited if you guys know what I mean so this photo looks really natural it looks really bright and just normal it doesn't look like it has been heavily edited whatsoever okay so after we've determined that the other thing that really jumps out at me is the roofing so that's a really big contributing factor to the curb appeal of the house is the actual roofing because that's kind of like the facade and that really is what makes a house a house is the actual roof so this roofing is actually really symmetrical which really jumped out at me because if a roofing is symmetrical it means that it's generally going to be a little bit easier to recreate so as you can see the three kind of main roof pieces are the three gabled roof pieces which are the kind of triangle looking roof parts so those are super easy to create in the sims 4 and then the rest of the roof is kind of just like the flat siding one uh, you guys know what i'm talking about right i sure hope so bottom line the roofing is really easy but it's also really beautiful the other thing I really love about this house that's kind of similar to my last episode is the different textures of the paint. So on the bottom half, it's kind of like this horizontal paneling, which I know comes with the base game. And then on the top half, it's kind of this shingled texture, which I think comes with cats and dogs. So we can definitely, definitely recreate these paint textures in The Sims 4. The last thing I want to comment on is the windows. So immediately when I saw these windows, I thought they looked exactly like the ones that come with cats and dogs. So if you guys know which windows I'm talking about, give this video a thumbs up if you agree. But that's immediately what jumped out to me. So I knew knew I would be able to recreate these windows in The Sims 4. But I do really like how symmetrical the window placement is. That makes me really happy for some reason. And also I like how they're white and they kind of contrast against the dark bluish gray paint color. So overall, you guys, I think this house has a ton of curb appeal, and also a lot of aspects of this house are very easily replicated in The Sims 4. So I think we're going to have a super easy time recreating this to get it looking pretty similar in my opinion. So let me know if you guys agree. But of course, we can't make it too easy on ourselves as per usual, so I'm going to be giving myself a budget of only 20,000 simoleons to completely recreate this exterior and also add my own personal Dr. Ashley spin on it. So we were able to stay within budget last time. I really hope that we will be able to do that again today. Fingers crossed, you guys. Let's jump right into the recreation. Okay, you guys, episode two. I think that this one turned out so, so nicely, and it turned out so similar, in my opinion. This was definitely a house that as soon as I saw the photo, I knew that I could recreate it in The Sims 4 really well. So I hope that me showing you kind of how to look at the photo and analyze the photo at the beginning of the episode, I hope that's kind of helping you guys in a way because that's what I do when I look at photos I don't just find a photo and immediately think like oh let me let me just recreate it I do have to go through the steps to make sure that it's actually going to turn out nicely because so many so many times you will find a photo and then try and recreate it and it'll just turn out badly and I think if you have more concrete steps on how to analyze a photo your building will actually turn out a lot better and you won't waste as much time with kind of failed builds 
but this house does sit on a 20 by 30 lot and I only use the cats and dogs expansion pack. So I use the cats and dogs expansion pack for the windows like I said earlier and also for the top half of the house, uh, the paint, the shingled kind of texture. I needed the cats and dogs expansion pack for that as well. But thank you guys so much for all of the feedback that you left me in episode one. Uh, it definitely really helps me out and I really appreciate hearing what you guys thought of my new series. You guys all really seem to love it. Within only a couple days of me launching that video, I had nearly 500 views and 50 likes already. So that is a really big success for me on my channel. So if you guys do enjoy the series, I do really appreciate if you do give it a thumbs up because it does really help me out. So thank you guys so much for anyone who did do that and if you left a comment or really liked it uh, thank you I really do appreciate that so I did ask for your guys' feedback regarding the interior decorating and the floor planning in terms of uploading it to the gallery because I only do exteriors in this series. So I didn't know if you guys wanted me to furnish it or kind of what you wanted me to do with that. And a lot of you guys left really good suggestions to um, one, definitely floor plan it because I guess a lot of people do struggle with that. So I will be floor planning all of them before I upload them to the gallery. And someone also left a comment saying that maybe I could just furnish the kitchen and the bathrooms kind of like when you actually buy a house the bedrooms are empty the living room is empty and all that's really there is the kitchen and the bathroom so that's kind of a good idea too I might do that going forward a little bit so I'll definitely uh, floor plan and I will definitely furnish the bathrooms kind of the basics and then I will put in the kitchen kind of where I think that it should go and then if you do download the house you can do your own bedrooms and your own living room and that kind of thing so thank you everyone who did leave your feedback regarding that. Since it is a new series, it really helps me out because I do want you guys to be a part of it and I want you guys to be able to contribute and for me to give you guys what you want. The other thing I also did mention is I was going to make some of these base game only, some of these um, with other types of packs and that kind of thing because you know I love to pack restrict. However, this episode I used the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. My last episode I used the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. And then next episode I'm also using the Cats and Dogs expansion pack. So I kind of forgot about that I guess. So you guys have to let me know if you are you know dying for me to do base game or kind of what packs you want me to use in these or if I should just not pack restrict at all. So yeah I would like your feedback regarding that. But you guys I know it's only episode two but I really love filming this series. It's so much fun for me and I know I mentioned it in my last video but I do really like having the face cam here. I think it's way more fun. I feel like it's more of a connection, so I'm really happy to be back. And I know some people have been commenting and wondering about Love It or List It. And don't worry, you guys, I am still filming that. I'm preparing it for you guys, okay? It takes a lot of work to make those videos um, with all the screenshots and the before and after and the tour, and there's just a lot more involved in that kind of series. And I am renovating some of the bigger and larger um, apartments in San Myshuno. So those ones take a very long time, but don't worry, it's coming back and the renovations are turning out so, so great. I think that season two of Love It or List It is going to be 10 times better than season one. So please, please anticipate it. Um, it will be coming and don't worry, it's not gone. I'm working on it right now. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. But you guys, I think that's enough rambling for this intro. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy today's recreation. Okay you guys, so I'm back here for another super super quick voiceover section because my intros are pretty long I guess and then the actual building itself doesn't actually take that long because I'm only doing the exterior so it only leaves me about a minute and a half every time to do the actual voiceover so ah, I'm panicking, I don't know what to say and I have so little time but um, we were able to keep this uh, building exterior under 20,000 simoleons, so we did stay within budget, which is really good. Um, my last episode, we also stayed within budget, so maybe I should be making my budgets a little bit more challenging, because it seems like we are able to do it quite easily, but I don't know yet. We'll have to see how the series goes, and then I'll see what I want to do with the budget, but... If you haven't seen the last episode, there's actually a little bit of a sneak peek to the left of this lot. You can see that nice light blue house. That's what we built in our first episode. So don't forget to go check that out after this one if you haven't seen episode one yet. Uh, that was kind of like my series pilot. So I explained the series in a little bit more detail. 
But yeah, maybe in the future to make these videos a little bit longer, I might actually record me doing the floor planning and include that in the speed build right now. I'm not sure you guys will have to let me know what you guys want to see, but I don't know. I don't necessarily want to drag these episodes on too long either because it is focused on exteriors. So yeah, can't wait to see you guys next week and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Well, you guys, that concludes today's episode of Curb Appeal. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you thought about it. And if this is our first time meeting, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to be friends or if you want to see more weekly Sims 4 recreation videos. I upload these videos once a week at the same time every week, so I will see you guys all next week. Bye, everybody!